This is day 12 of me doing the vlog. I can't believe it, 12 days. Not really a long time. If you're watching, maybe it does feel like a long time. A uh, customer of, my, of mine is uh, Daily Exotic Driven. So if you look on YouTube and you search in YouTube, Daily Exotic Driven. His name's Damon. Uh, I don't really don't know him very well at all, just seeing his YouTube channel. One day I was talking to Damon about his channel. He, he said that the hardest thing is thinking of something to vlog about every day. And I thought, oh geez, that's, that's probably like the easiest thing to do. A few days later, or whatever it was, I saw him again and I said, hey, I started my own uh, YouTube channel. I'm um, just doing, doing vlogging. And I mentioned how I think that the, the vlogging, thinking of ideas, is the easiest. And he said, yeah, that's what I used to think. Or something like that. I think that's what he said. And now I did well, like, I kind of get it. That I think for me, knowing what to talk about is, is fine. Like throughout the day, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about that. And then at the end of the day, you know, you have supper, you put the kids to bed, you're tired, you got 5,000 other things to do. And I got things something to vlog about. But today, I do have something to vlog about. It ties up from our first vlog. And that is... Does Ruben have cancer? Is he going to be able to keep his place? I don't have cancer. I have a benign tumor that they're watching to see if it's growing, which really means they don't know whether or not it's cancerous. <laughs> uh, they just have to watch it to see if it grows. If it grows, and uh, that's not really a good thing. But I got to wait another six months for that. January 29th, 2018, I have my next CT scan. Anyways, today I got a phone call from the realtor regarding our business. That's the other thing I've been waiting for, to see whether or not I'd be staying in business. And yes, we are staying in business. I'm very happy and excited about that. I have a job where, well, I guess like everybody, not every morning do you want to wake up and go to your job and just want to stay home. With my job, I go, oh, I can't disappoint. I've, my, my customers are kids, and they come in for a play. I have parents tell me that, I asked my kid what they want to do today, and this is where they wanted to be, and I just can't disappoint kids, and so I really need to be there every day. Maybe it sounds a little cheesy, but it's true. It'd be easy to disappoint adults <laughs> because they're pretty, they're pretty disappointing individuals to begin <laughs> to begin with. Not you, of course. You're not disappointing at all. It's just the other people that are. So this is great. I got the lease. I'm cleanish. Bill, <laughs> bill of health. A cleanish. Hey, I can see myself in the reflection right there. Right there. Hello, little ribbon. Hello. You're so cute. You're so cute, little ribbon. And I have to say, there's a little lesson I have learned or relearned or was reminded of from all of this. Sometimes there's bad news and it can suck. But you just gotta keep moving forward. You just gotta keep breathing. You just gotta hope for the best and act like the best is going to happen. And so that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been trying to do. It's an effort. It's a conscious effort. It's not being fake. It's not being phony. It's just really just putting your best foot forward. Uh, typically the things that we worry about don't even happen. And that's been the case on this part. It, granted, when you're providing for your kids and you have kids, you don't want to die. You don't want to lose your job. So it's on the mind. However, I think as one has the positive mindset, they're able to recognize opportunities when things go south, because things do go bad. But when that happens, if you're thinking positive, it doesn't mean bad things won't happen, but I think this might be easier to get out of that rut and make things happen. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. That's what I've learned. Hopefully I can remember that for the next time something happens, which probably will be tomorrow or the next day. Or maybe it's happening right now and I don't even know it. Hey, here's another thing. Look at all that. Jalapenos from our garden. Red, red jalapenos. Ew. Some of them are rotten. See, you never know something bad's gonna happen. There's a rotten jalapeno. Onward and upward. Till tomorrow.